WJZY TV 46 is an equal employment opportunity station. This is WBTV News at 10 on WJZY TV 46. To the Haitian dictators is clear. Your time is up. Leave now or we will force you from power. President Clinton tries to build support for an invasion of Haiti and kick out the military leaders. He says the United States has done everything it could to be diplomatic and must now protect its interests. Clinton accused the military regime in Haiti of thousands of political murders. His warning comes while more than 20,000 U.S. troops move towards Haiti. Good evening and welcome to Charles First News at 10. Now, immediately after the president's speech, reaction from Haiti's General Raul Cedras. He told Dan Rather of CBS News, Haiti... WBTV News 3 at 10 on WJZY, where weather always comes first. And weather is first here on this Monday evening. Glad you're with us. I'm meteorologist Al Conklin. Let's take a look at it. WBTV News 3 at 10 on WJZY, where weather always comes first. Our heat wave is a thing of the past thanks to an early push up. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I am Barbara Pinson Lash. Let's take a look at the Fox Box and give you a preview of what we will be talking about tonight throughout this newscast. And we'll go to it right now. We've got a nice dog named Abby. We'll tell you. That we're here to thank these guys for the awesomeness that they did that day. And a local mother speaking out for the. When you he walked in the room, like. You just smile, like he always had that big smile on his face. A community torn up. Now on Good Day. Well, after a very cold and messy start to the day, temperatures now starting to go back up right here. In Right now at 10, the fate of the Carolina Panthers up in the air. Jerry Richardson steps aside. Players react. Mr. Richardson um, is, a, is a man of, of I want to say a few words. Five o'clock on the dot. Good morning. Welcome into Good Day Charlotte. I'm Ann Wyatt Little. Right now at 10, candles light the night, hundreds singing in the crowd, a community room. Good Day Charlotte starts right now. Good morning. You're watching Fox 46. Good Day Charlotte. It is 6 o'clock on the nose, Tuesday, September 3rd. Glad to have you joining us, waking up with us. Fox 46 News at 5 starts right now. Hurricane Dorian forcing people to make some dramatic moves. Video from the Bahamas where a family is forced to walk. It's 10 o'clock and Fox 46 Charlotte is getting results. Right now at 10 on the move, Hurricane Dorian is slowly moving up the Atlantic. Just ahead in our 6 o'clock hour, most parents turn to sugar substitutes to stop their children from being hyper. Oh, but guess what? That might not be the solution either. Consumer Reports looks... Charlotte's only live local news at 6.30 starts right now. First, we're taking a live look from our Hyatt Place Uptown camera. Parts of the Queen City skyline, you can see there they're disappearing behind the clouds. Uptown it's 10 o'clock and Fox 46 Charlotte is getting results. But first on Fox, we have got one more night in the 20s before warmer weather returns. Good evening, I'm Brian Blake. Fox 46 Good Day Charlotte starts right now. Welcome into Good Day Charlotte. It is 6 o'clock on your Saturday morning. So glad you're waking up with us. I'm Rochelle Metzger. This is Fox 46 News at 4. That's not it. Right now at 4. Another reason not to answer the door. A spitting salesman has neighbors calling the cops in Charlotte. Why the police say their hands are tied. Plus, 
Could your safety net be ripped away while out of work? How your job hunt could impact your unemployment benefits? And moms-to-be and the COVID-19 vaccine. Pregnant women are more likely to get severely ill, need to be in the ICU, on a ventilator. The new study working to find out if the shot is safe for moms and their newborns. But first, things finally starting to dry off after a day of on and off downpours. Here's a live look right now from our Independence Boulevard cameras. You can see... Fox 46 News at 4.30 starts right now. The Palmetto Pot War. A South Carolina mother wants to see medical marijuana legalized. This is Fox 46 News at 5. First at 5, the Charlotte Diocese got more than a million dollars from the federal government. This is Fox 46 News at 5.30. No, at 530, teachers and students are already back at school, but what's being done to keep... This is Fox 46 News at 6. Right now at 6, what's in the dirt? Fox 46 is taking a look at what's hiding beneath the surface of one local neighborhood. And a path forward for COVID aid, what's being discussed in Washington to get the next wave of relief passed. Plus, the push from North Carolina lawmakers to expand a program to allow low-income parents a chance to send their kids to private school. News 6, digging out a danger from the soil. In the next... Fox 46 News at 6.30 starts right now. And new at 6.30, the Charlotte Diocese got more than a million dollars from the federal government to help during the pandemic. Tonight on Fox 46 News at 10, not guilty. Donald John Trump, former president of the United States, is not guilty as charged in the article of impeachment. Senators voted to acquit former President Donald Trump the surprising guilty vote from a North Carolina Republican. Plus, Fox 46 is live in Daytona, and the race is officially in jeopardy thanks to Mother Nature. The latest coming up. And a local resident is a million dollars richer. What game the lucky lotto winner played? This is Fox 46 News at 10. But first, another rainy day across the Carolinas. Here's a live look from the Hyatt Place Uptown camera. You Queen City News starts now. Right now on Queen City News, caught on camera, a man bursting into flames after a stun gun sparks a fire. But his family says that's not even the worst part. The police, rather than help him, ran out of the room, shut the door behind them, and let Jason burn. Plus, Cawthorn's candidacy called into question what voters say should get him thrown out. And hitting the brakes in Highland Creek. What neighbors say needs to be done now to get drivers to slow down in the busy neighborhood. First here at four, stretched thin at Charlotte's. Minus continues right now. Queen City News now. Now on Carolina's own Queen City News, COVID dominating all. Carolina's own Queen City News starts now. Now on Carolina's own Queen City News, teacher and substitute shortages. It is something. Queen City News starts now. New on Queen City News at four. A hospital horror story. It felt like my insides were being ripped out. The mistake that caused a woman to wake up in the middle of surgery without a way to tell doctors. And a spike in animal cruelty in South Carolina. The step shelters and local law enforcement are taking to put a stop to it. Plus, the season for sneezing. Why this year's allergy season could be longer and worse. 
New at four, a new COVID variant is raising concerns about a second surge in cases. Yeah, right now about... City News starts now. First tonight, a Queen City News exclusive. CMS board member Ron Cheek explains. at four, a wild chase lasting nearly two hours all across the Queen City. WJZY TV 46 is an equal opportunity employment station. WJZY TV 46. 